What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to the perfect trolling action montage here in today's sponsor, Mac Arena, a team-based 5v5 shooter for your Android and iOS devices that knows how to combine casual pickup and play fun with skill-based competitive play. Use my QR code on screen or the links down below to test it out yourself for free right now. And using these codes will also allow you to get the mil-spec skin, 500 A-coins and 70,000 credits on top as a starter bonus. The game has an insane amount of mechs with unique abilities and a huge arsenal of weapons, but in today's video, as I said, I wanna troll. And I've prepared something for you guys and gals that you have told me to use in the previous videos, the Javelin Rack on the Killshot Robot, okay? Super fast fire and forget missiles with high accuracy and uh, uh, alpha damage. And this paired with the perfect mobility and speed the Killshot has uh, makes the perfect assassin. Uh, and a trolling robot, of course, for me. Get too close, you get ram killed, stay away, and you get killed by the missiles. <laughs> so, let's enjoy those javelin racks that we have here on the kill shot. 75 meters is my lock-on range, for those who do not know. Uh, the damage output, once we hit with those rockets, is so high, the enemy really loses most of its HP. But, of course, <clears throat> you have to get 75 meters close. Not always so easy. Um, and, uh, yeah, but the, the good news is you can fire over cover and you can can do it without exposing yourself to enemy firepower, of course, unless they also fire similar weapons that do not le need line of sight. There's a few of them uh, in the game, for example, the rocket mortar, obviously the same weapon on the other side, or um, also the disc launcher that can curve around corners um, and uh, deal a lot of damage. It even has some splash damage that you need to be careful with. Uh, the cool thing, of course, about the kill shot is that you've been, you're so fast, it's hard to catch you. So you can just fire that shot and then just dash into into safety, basically. Uh, or you use the dash as an offensive strategy or uh, ability, and you attack someone with it, right? You go in and you ram the dude. Uh, and in this case, you see here, I left him with a little bit of health. I finish him off with the ramming, and then I go in and fire the last salvo at the other dude. In this case, I gotta get back in cover because my rocket salvo had that actually taken him down but this one here will with the cat ramming boom there we go nice all right so really what a great combination this is uh, i think the kill shot is probably best used um, with these uh, javelin rockets or at least one of the better ways to use it i also really enjoyed running um the arc torrent on the kill shot also makes him a very dangerous assassin but i find myself getting my uh, getting you know taken down very quickly with the arc torrent most of the time because the kill shot although quick and deadly, is very, very fragile and can be taken down by enemies very easily and fast. And so when you get super close in arc torrent range, quite often it's like you, okay, uh, now you're in range, but now you're dead as well. <laughs> so uh, I kind of think I prefer to play it with the uh, javelin rack, um, but I wish I get the um, level 8 one. Uh, I've read you guys' comments on the last video uh, that I've made, uh, where I asked you, is there a Jav rack for the level 8 version? And you all told me, or a lot of you told me, yes, there is. And it only fires apparently one big rocket instead of many smaller rockets. It fires just one big one. Sounds pretty awesome. I wish I would have that, but right now I don't have the level 8 version of the Javelin Rack. Um, I don't think there's a level 10 version though, right? Because uh, you never told me about this. So since nobody told me about a level 10 version or a little higher, I assume there is none. Um, but uh, level 8 would be pretty cool as well. Uh, I just gotta get my hands on it once I, have, uh, once I see it in the game somewhere. Nice, 220,000 damage. In Mech Arena, you have thousands of ways to customize your robot, not only with the weapons and pilots you equip, but also the paint shops and skins for it, right? Uh, build a mech that fits your personality and your playstyle and enjoy running it in Control Point Capture, 5v5 or 2v2 Deathmatch, tournaments and so much more. You can play solo or with your friends, it's really all up to you. See, for example, right here I'm playing 2v2 Deathmatch with that guy that is in my team here, and I was also testing the new disc launcher for the first time. I think I'm going to make a video about this at some point, but for now I just wanted to show you Deathmatch is basically a really lot of fun uh, and very tactical and strategic. You have to play careful and use your robots to the best of your abilities. And what I like about the game is these boxes that you unlock while you're playing, and I've done something I've never done before. I saved up 11 gold boxes so I can open one and then 10 at once, and that's what I'm doing right here. And <laughs> Whoa! That is a huge list of goodies. Boom! 
Boom! Back on the next map, ladies and gents, enjoying the Javelin Rack playstyle. Here's a uh, stealth robot coming in. It seems like because I fired the rocket before he entered stealth, um, I was able to hit him as if he was not in stealth. That was pretty cool. I thought once he activates stealth, the rockets basically missed their targets, but they didn't. <laughs> they were already locked on and that was it for him. <laughs> to his delight, no, to my delight and his doom, basically. Here's another dude. This is also where you can use these weapons so good. This map in particular is the absolute monster map for the Javelin Rack. Because there are so many covers you can go uh, on above and uh, uh, enemies and just send these rockets from high up angles where the enemy can't even shoot you back, right? Um, of course, uh, Rocket Mortar also really loves these maps, uh, or this map too. Uh, but these uh, these Jav Rocks, man, I love them. J Jav Rockets. We need, a, we need a shorter version. Jav. These Jaffs. <laughs> that sounds stupid. Um, boom! Got the dude. Okay, nice. Next guy also got ram killed by one of our um, uh, kill shots. Rock Amadeus, apparently his name is. Ooh, ooh I found an enemy. Uh, fire, fire, fire. And boom, I got him. And he got me too. <laughs> this is also something you see happening quite a few times actually in Mech Arena is that people take each other down at the same time. Both of them fire like for example the homing rockets. You've seen once they're in the air they do what they're supposed to. If you die afterwards doesn't matter. They are locked on. They get the job done you know. And the same thing uh, happened before against the stealth robot and it also just happened once I got taken down. I'm right now here in my Panther with a carbine rifle. Um, it's a it's a really stri strong setup in my opinion um, because you can put up that force field and then shoot through. Um, and uh, I, I just thought I, I show you the end of this match, so we have a complete match here from the from the end uh, from the beginning till the end basically, and show you where uh, yeah how we do it. So, you can see even to the right up on the higher ledge, you can walk on these cliffs and, and then shoot down with a javelin rack. This is so good. Alright, enemies are coming in. I'm already aimed in with my carbines and I'm taking some healing from the, uh, from the MD that's with us. Uh, which is pretty awesome. I like this robot. Unfortunately, though, I very rarely ever have one in my team. Um, but Crispy Bacon here ha has one, and uh, that allowed me to restore some of my health. Putting up that force field and then shooting right through at the enemy, who are basically vulnerable at the other side of the shield, unable to fire back through it. So, MVP, just the money. That's how I like it. Bam. Uh, 246,000 damage. Sang. All right, next map. Here with the javelin rack once more, aiming in and sending my awesome homing missiles at the enemy. Already taken down one guy with the first shot. Here comes the second shot. Bam, 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 bam. Oof. That guy also took a huge beating. You saw how much health he lost just from this uh, one attack. And that's typically what happens with the javelin rack. When it fully hits you, uh, usually you lose almost your entire robot from it. Um, here, spreading the bullets or the rockets, one's for him and the other weapon goes on the other dude. Um, the only problem is that, uh, or no, maybe not a problem. Interesting is that you can shoot people also from behind with the javelin rockets. If they turn the other way and you hit them from behind, you actually deal much more damage with the javelin rockets. Um, and I, you can also dodge them. You saw I was aimed at by enemy javelin rockets and I was trying to fly or, or dash away into safety. And sometimes I feel like I've seen it that, uh, that a, a kill shot was able to dodge the impending doom by javelin rockets by dashing very quickly somewhere. And the uh, r rockets were unable to follow him this quickly. Uh, but it seems like the last times I've tried it, every time I still got hit by the rockets. Either something has changed or maybe I have seen it, dif uh, seen it wrong uh, when, I, when I thought you could actually hide uh, or from the attacking rockets by dashing. Maybe you guys can tell me this much uh, in the uh, in this video here, so I know it for the next one. Can you dodge javelin rockets with the kill shot? Um, kill shot dash is the question here. Uh, I really like to know what you guys think or uh, and your experiences with it. Um, I feel like I've seen it before, but then again, the last mm, 10 times at least I tried it, I still got shot by the javelins. Uh, and usually I get shot in my back, taking even more damage because I try to be sneaky and da dash away. So, yeah, but you see here, this is how you can use the mobility of the kill shot. You just, uh, every time you, you feel like, uh oh, your position is getting overrun, the position is compromised, what do you do? You just, bam! 
either do this, right, you ram kill him, or you just dash into safety and use the mobility in an escaping defensive way. There are, uh, that, those are your options for the kill shot. And it makes it, it probably is the reason why I think this kill, this kill shot m utilizes the uh, javelin rack probably the best way um, than any robot can um, so far from also what I've seen. Maybe a safer or safer robot would be good with it as well, because basically you can lure enemies in attacking you, you shoot the javelin rack, and they come at you and be really mad because you hit them across the cover, uh, and then they want to take you down, and you just activate that EMP blast, and, and then you kill them afterwards. I mean, this would be really frustrating to fight against. You finally get close to the dude, you can finally attack him, and then he dis disables your robot and kills you anyway. <laughs> Quite trollish. I think I have to do it because I am the master troll after all, am I? <laughs> So, uh, Wuchi over there wants to catch a couple of rockets or RSS, no, RS-22. Uh, one of these guys, okay, the RS dude took it and whoop, I dashed back into safety. And then they follow in, my teammates are respawning and we have a nice, basically we set up a defensive perimeter here a little bit. Uh, I'm getting this guy here from behind, bop, 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 and he almost bit it, he almost bit it, he's almost gone. But it wasn't quite enough to actually get him destroyed. Um, so yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this has been my dedicated video to Mech Arena this month uh, with a topic of the kill shot Javelin Rack, a topic you guys and gals have actually suggested to me, which thank you for doing that because it was a pleasure to play this. Um, and if you have some other crazy cool ideas, let me know. Maybe I can use them. Keep in mind, though, my account does not have everything on Mech Arena. I have a couple of things that I have unlocked already, but um, I am, for example, not having the Javelin Rack level 8. I, that I could not show you at this time. Uh, I did, however, unlock the disc launcher very recently. Uh, and um, yeah, so that would be something. And I also got myself a Safia robot, finally, after last uh, month's live stream. I, we had a live stream last month. Maybe we're going to have another one this month. Let's see. Um, and uh, I was uh, I was fighting Safiers all day, and I found it a little frustrating. And now I'm finally able to have one myself. So this could also be something for our next videos. So ladies and gentlemen, make sure um, to, if you haven't yet tested Mecha, arena give it a try there's also a lot of new stuff happening this month aside from the battle pass season 7 for new amazing skins and goodies there's also a new pilot stefania and the new voltaic weapons that mess with the enemy aim coming out so yeah stay tuned because mech arena is completely free to play on android and ios and if you use my qr code on screen or the links down below then you can kickstart your play with a 45 dollars worth startup pack with a mil spec skin 500 a coins and 70,000 credits and then come find me in the game under the name just the money